Hi, my name is Shabnam Weber. I'm the president of the Tea and Herbal Association of Canada, and I just got my brand new Viva Recharge Travel Mug. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect cup of hot tea. So remember, when you first get your own mug, you've got a amazing lid here that you are going to be able to snap open and keep nice and tight, which means that when you're drinking it, it's not going to drip all over you. And you know what I'm talking about because it happens to me with every mug I have ever, ever, ever used. So with this, click back and you've got absolutely no drip happening whatsoever. Second, you're going to need to be able to open this up and keep it tight open in order to open up your actual travel mug itself. Because of the tight seal that it's got, it will not drip in your bag, ladies. You've got this tight seal, which means that you need to be able to click this open in order to open it up. So you can see that this is not like any travel mug you've ever used before. We've got two chambers here, and it's so simple to use. So let me start by making a really simple black tea. What I'm gonna do is I am going to take about two and a half teaspoons but use whatever strength that you like. Remember that this is about 500 milliliters, so about two of your regular cups. So I've got a tablespoon here. I'm gonna do about a heaping tablespoon. I like my teas medium to strong. And then we've got two lines inside of here. There's a bottom line and a top line. And I'm gonna start by making a hot tea for you today because that's how I like to start my day. And I'm gonna pour the water, boiled water, up to that second marker inside of this carafe. Now I can let it steep just like this, which I'm gonna to prefer to do because one of my biggest pet peeves is taking my travel mug in my car and it's too hot to drink. But if you like it's super hot, then you can just plunge this in about halfway and just let it sit. For a black tea, you're gonna let that sit about three to five minutes depending on how strong you like it. Once that time has passed, you're just gonna push this down to the bottom, screw closed, close your lid, and off you go. Nothing spilling out. Now I know what you're asking because this was always my concern with tea travel mugs. What happens to the leaves? Well, those leaves are still sitting at the bottom and the amazing thing about this mug is that the fine filter at the bottom has vacuum chambered all of those leaves down once I've plunged it down. That means that the steep or the strength of this tea is not going to get any stronger. I could truly leave this sitting here for the next four hours and it'll taste the exact same as it does right now.